By the next morning, Mira was feeling nearly back to normal. Poven came in the morning to take her to breakfast and then to the med bay to be checked over. After being given a clean bill of health, they headed to one of the gathering places for crew members. Mira hadn't had a chance to visit any of these places yet, so this was pleasant to experience. There were lounging areas, as well as areas for various multiplayer games. Want me to teach you Thoric? Pavan gestured to a game that looked like if she were drunk enough, she might mistake it for chess. But looking at it for any length of time destroyed the illusion. Sure. It's fun, and once you understand the moves, you'll be fine, he assured her. Like Chinese checkers, you could set up the board for more than two players. Poven explained that additional spaces opened up with each player added, which could make the game chaotic. You started with eight pieces, and they were all flat. Each piece had two markings that were the same for all eight pieces. Mira mentally referred to these markings as heads and tails. Heads could move in straight lines one at a time, and tails could move diagonally one at a time. You could move forward or back with both faces, or even sideways. You start the game with four heads and four tails. The board reminded Mira of a checkerboard, but that changed when Pavan hit the start button. When he did, before either of them moved any pieces, a third of the squares opened up and a few of those squares had their pieces on them. Mira heard movement in the game, and the pieces reappeared at a different part of the board and switched symbols. The heads became tails, and vice versa. Okay, you can move any of your pieces. You can't cross a gap, and if a piece was next to mine in a way you can move, you can move to the spot and remove my piece from the game. Once you have moved, press your turn button. The field will shift again, and then I will take my turn. He was right that the game was easy to play, and she could see how it could become chaotic with multiple players. What happens if during the field shift, a token lands on a spot already occupied? Poven grinned. Same as if you had taken the space. The token that was there is considered fairly captured. They played a round, which Poven narrowly won before others came to play with them. As Mira would wait her turn, she thought about the situation back home. She desperately wanted to warn her superiors back home, but how? Would it be safe? Mira, what's wrong? Trorik, a Flexusri, asked. Yeah, you've been staring a hole through the playing board, and it's been your turn, Poven added. Mira quickly took her turn, capturing another Drala's token. I'm sorry, I'm just wondering if I could send a message home and warn people, but not have it intercepted or understood by the enemy. Your world has that field around it to keep it isolated, right? Trorik asked. Mira nodded. This far out, we probably wouldn't be able to get through if the Imperia strengthened the jammer, but if we were within your solar system, we probably could. These translators... Mira touched her translator scar. Are they the same used by everyone, or do the Imperia, Vasily, and Luxi use something else? I'm pretty sure they are the same we use. Why do you ask? Poven asked. Well, Captain S's Veda couldn't understand me at first, but those three species have been on my planet for millennia. How was my language not added before me? Poven looked stunned. There are only two possibilities. They either have a different translator that doesn't connect to the collective, or they learned Earth languages themselves. That would require them to either be able to turn it off or don't have them at all. I would have to imagine turning them off constantly would be annoying. Poven immediately withdrew his portable and sent a quick message to Fennis. I've asked the lieutenant commander to have the prisoner's translators checked and briefly explained your concern. Anything out of the ordinary done to or with prisoners has to be approved by a ship lead, he explained. Mira pulled out her own portable and sent Zanatla a message. I need you to gather the best computer people amongst the three ships once we arrive at the outpost. I have some ideas I need to run past people who understand computers, and we will need to do a few practice runs. Zanatla replied. Sounds exciting. I'll find you the best we have. What was that? Pavan asked. I'm hoping we can create a secure line directly to Commander Morris and we can get his help. And if he's compromised, maybe the admiral of the ship I'm usually stationed on? Mira smiled. 
I'll worry about that later. It was her turn again, so she moved one of her tail pieces diagonally, hit her turn button, and watched as several pieces moved to different spots and captured other pieces. A few hours later, it was time to eat the evening meal. They ate with several of the crewmates they had been playing with. Mira enjoyed that there were now more non-meat options available due to the skeet on board. As they ate, Poven's portable dinged, indicating that he had received a message. He read it over. The lieutenant commander says that their translators are standard issue. Looks like those on your planet learned Earth languages organically. Well, that's added some interesting variables, Mira replied. She tapped her lips as she thought. Well, don't leave us waiting, Poven joked. How easy would it be for one of you to learn a new language? I mean actually learn it. Listen to the sounds I actually make, and not what your translator tells you I'm saying. Would you be able to make these sounds? Trorik replied first. We would not. Our language gets amplified so that we are better heard, and our throats could not make those sounds at all. Flex Usri would be unable to communicate with any other species. We were only able to communicate with our land species through tentacle language. I think we might be able to, but it would be difficult, Poven replied. And it may also hurt our throats to make those noises because they are not natural to us. More than likely, they probably sent youth down to learn your languages as their first language. After that, it would be whether or not they have the ability to learn the other languages. Some languages are just harder to learn. Another Drala added. I'll have to ask Admiral Vebi or Lieutenant Commander Fennis to speak with a different prisoner before they get handed over. I want to see if they understand Spanish. I haven't added it to the translator, but if they just know it, they would be able to respond. It's a very commonly spoken language back home, so it would make sense for them to know it. It's the only other language I know. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of possibilities. It's hard to stop worrying at the whole thing. Hey everyone, hope you loved the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe for more awesome sci-fi content. You can also support us by hitting the thanks button at the bottom of the video. Your generosity goes a long way. Every bit helps us bring you more stories from the stars. Thanks a bunch.